All right. Here's a very easy problem that's missed an awful lot by seventh graders. Hey, look. Hi, and welcome to another installment of Math Basics with Mr. Besh. Right now, we are going to try, okay, we are going to try to show you what point on a graph would represent the actual scenario presented in this word problem, okay? So this person here is, is, is traveling a distance in miles on their bicycle. And, and, and the other number is of how long they're traveling, right? So look carefully. The distance is Y, and then the X is going to be hours. So the time you travel, the longer you travel, the further you travel, right? We know the distance formula. Distance is equal to your rate times your time. That's one of the things that we work out in our science class. The other thing that's important about this question is that you need to understand how these points work. When you have a point, you're going to have your two values inside your parentheses, and the first term is always going to be x, and the second term is always going to be y. And in this case, remember, x is the hours, and y is going to be the distance. So according to what they give us right here, okay, if I were to write this point for this value of what we see right now, hours has to be first, so a half an hour and then it's gonna be 5.5 miles, okay? Hours and miles. If I break this down and color code this for you, this is gonna be this, and this is gonna be that, right? But that's not what they're asking for. They're asking for per hour, which is fancy lingo for one hour. So now, if my hour is going to be one, which we can eliminate these guys, which would be the first number here, then if we can do a half an hour, five and a half miles, it would only make sense that in one hour we can double that and double five and a half is 11. So this is identifying what the graph or the point on the graph would represent using X and Y's here. And this also relates to that proportional expressions that we have in this unit. Okay, I hope you find this here both helpful and informative.